Greetings, show. I am Hiaksho, and this is my show. And today, we're talking about Chop Goblins, the latest boomer shooter developed by David Szymanski, aka the legend Dusk Dev himself, creator of the modern classic, the acclaimed and always awesome Dusk. You are Chop Guy. I don't really have a name for him, so he's gonna be Chop Guy. You're what amounts to be an unwilling time traveler who accidentally released these gremlin feeling micro strosities upon time and space. Your job, stop them from taking over. If it's not too late already. These cheese loving, unhinged, but very polite choppy boys are in it to win it. And they're multiplying into a variety of flavors, such as your chompy vanilla, your cleaver throwing cream soda variety, the blueberry hit scanner, the chocolate chip chonky boy, and the forbidden flavor X. In typical Dusk Dev style, you're in for a classic looking retro inspired boomer shooter here, which borrows a lot of stylistic elements from Dusk of course, but with the movement and flow to boot. Except no jumping, or backflips. Chop Guy don't do that. There is no jumping, I've tried. And unless I'm missing a key, there is no jumping in this game. Can be frustrating. Hail to the king, baby! With an adventure spanning five time periods from the modern day 1800s Transylvania, ancient Greece, and to the not too distant future, we're gonna be jumping into the boom across space time. So naturally, you're gonna wanna grab a gun for every occasion. You've got your single flintlock, aka the de facto sniper rifle, an automatic shotgun. Might not be automatic, but I definitely use it that way. The always impressive MK2 Impaler Vlad automatic stake gun for when the vamps are really getting feisty and we'll get to that later. <laughs> and Chop Goblin's very own jablating BFG. <laughs> With all these at your disposal, it's time to cock and lock, impale and rail, give and gab, and save the day from these awful Chop Goblins. They're not that awful. I find them quite cute actually, to be fair. At the end of the day, it's all connected, you see. Through the dark and yielding void between worlds, where the great god Narolethotep resides, now asleep, both dead and alive, defeated and victorious, stretching into the great dark beyond, only to be found in the depths of the human soul. <coughs> Chop Goblins is a good game. A lot of fun, a casual something something you can finish in a few minutes if you're speedrunning, or something that you can spend a few more hours in if you're a secret hunter like yours truly. With competitive leaderboards making you slightly more addicted than you should be, you're gonna be wanting to compete with your friends on Steam, which I totally am, Dennis, believe it. In a game like this, constructed in this way, there are very few negatives that I can call out, especially coming from such caliber of game design as Dusk Dev. Though, I am gonna call out a few things, one of them being the point of the coins. I don't really understand it, is that where we get more points? If that's the case, why does Dennis keep beating me? Why can I not defeat Melancholy Geek? It is insane! <laughs> That would be my only weird gripe about the game, but overall, a really fun and engaging experience. <laughs> Chop Goblins has the signature of a boom master, offering a satisfying, casual boomer shooter experience to chop into when you need some time to boom without the doom. Warp in, save the day, and make it back in time before breakfast. I highly recommend this micro shooter. And apparently there's some talk of a sequel one day. These could be memes. I don't know. I only understand vines, but highly recommend this one. Chop Goblins is available on Steam right now, so go and get your hands on it. Thank you for watching everybody. A massive, wet, dripping, moistly glorious shout out to my patrons. Don't forget to check out the secret link in the description. I'll actually remember to put it in there this time. Or check out any of my videos on your screen now. If you have any feedback on my videos, please let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to improve and I really appreciate your feedback. Until next time, everybody, please take care, rip and tear. Cheers. <laughs>